Before this video starts, I don't think I've mentioned this yet, but I've actually set myself a personal challenge to actually hit a hundred thousand subscribers before my birthday. Like that would just mean the world. It would just be nice to hit that milestone. Like literally, it's been a dream of mine for so long. Like just that milestone right there before my birthday. It would be insane. My birthday's in four to five weeks on February the first. So yeah, I'm going to need all of your guys' help. Like honestly, tell a friend, subscribe if you haven't already. It would really help out. Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Fetch here, back with a brand new youtube video and in today's video i'm going to be telling you guys how you can actually get a supporter credit code within fortnite the fastest and easiest way possible i've had a ton of people comment saying you wanted this video right here like a lot of you mentioned you were struggling to basically reach your requirements of getting a credit code and you're also struggling with the process of how to actually apply for one and yeah i'm going to cover that all in this video and just help you out now if this video does go ahead to do exactly that and help you out the least you can do for me is drop a like it takes two seconds really does support the channel you can also go to extra mile subscribe with post notifications turned on therefore you never miss an upload just like this it's completely free you can always unsubscribe later down the line just give me a chance and yeah now all that boring stuff's out of the way let's get straight into the video So getting straight into this, first of all, what exactly is a supporter creator code? Some of you guys may not know. I'm just going to dumb it down for you, round up quickly right here. Basically, a creator code or a supporter credit code, also known shorthand as an SAC, is basically a code you literally use to support creators. Now, I say creators because the requirements for this require you to have a certain following on a social media platform, which kind of makes you a social media influencer or a creator in some way. So yeah, that's why it's called supporter creator. Like you're literally supporting a creator. And I probably should have mentioned the way you support them is within the Fortnite item shop so right here as you can see at the bottom right here I have a little tab saying support creator and if I click on this I have right now my code in so not trying to plug or anything but it's right in front of me it's hard not to if you want to use my credit code it's probably the best way to support me you can always do so and also if you use my code you can get a shout out if you send proof of my discord super easy you don't have to buy anything you just put the code in the item shop but yeah back on topic basically a code is like I don't know let's say I know clicks is not clicks so if you know who clicks is this is his code right here tfue's code is just tfue you basically just have a a code which you set so for example mine again is fetch you put it in the item shop once you get one you promote it and people that support you put it in the item shop they press accept does not cost them anything to do so and when they basically buy things from the item shop with their v bucks which is fortnite's digital currency for every 10,000 v bucks spent with them using your code you'll basically get five dollars for this which epic games will pay you directly and now how you apply for this what you want to do is basically go into google search up literally epic games support a creator and right at the top you should see this right here epicgames.com Support a creator, Epic Games Store. Just want to click onto here, and then right at the top, you should be able to log into Epic Games. As you can see, I'm currently logged into one of my accounts. And now, all you want to do is right where this big blue apply now button is, you want to just press this, and you have to fill out a few things. Now, of course, kind of self explanatory, you probably just want to do this for yourself, but you have to make sure you're either 18. And if you're not 18, you just need your parents' consent. So, not to judge anyone here, but I know my audience is predominantly not 18 year olds. I know some of you guys may actually be, actually, comment down below if you're 18. I would be very interested to see. I'm actually 18. Like literally on my birthday, I know I mentioned it in the intro. In about a month now, I'll be turning 18. But yeah, I think a lot of my audience are younger than 18. You probably will need to get just your mum, your parents, your dad, just literally your guardian, that maybe your grandma. They just have to give you consent and permission to basically let Epic Games pay you. All they'll have to do is put in their name, their last name, and what figure they are in your household or in your life. They don't really have to do anything, so it shouldn't be too hard to persuade them. But yeah, you know, you fill out all of this. It's like literally super easy to fill out. There really isn't much here. But what I want to point out particularly is this right here as you can see these are all the social medias which are eligible for you to apply with to get a code so you've got instagram twitter whatever vk is i've never heard of that you can also apply with facebook i didn't even know that was like i think do people use facebook like that no you can actually stream on facebook now actually so yeah i guess so but you guys probably won't be using facebook you got twitch and you got youtube and simply all you need i know it's easier said than done is a thousand followers on either one of these platforms and then you can connect your account here just to prove you own the account and yeah you just fill out the rest of the application and hopefully Hopefully they accept you, you then can get a code. Now out of all these platforms here, which one is the best I believe? I do personally think it's gotta be Instagram. Like Twitter is one of those. I've had Twitter for like four years now. And of course, a lot of that I wasn't doing content. I've only been basically promoting it, not even actively for maybe less than two years, but I've only gotten, I mean, I say only, but it's quite a lot. I've got, I think 15,000 followers. And that took me a while, like a very long time. It, like Twitter just really doesn't have an algorithm. So it's hard to grow on there. I would not recommend Twitter. 
better. Facebook, I guess if you stream on there, go for it. It's not going to be easy. Twitch, it's another one where you can only really grow a tw like Twitch is really hard with algorithm as well. So you can only really grow a Twitch channel if you're actively networking, you're following or um, like pushing it over from other platforms you already have and have grown. So it's another one that's really hard. YouTube, of course, they have an algorithm one on YouTube right now. You probably found this video just searching for it. I can guarantee you probably didn't get a notification for it. If you did, you probably know gang. Let me know in the comments if you're not a gang actually. But assuming you probably just found this video looking on YouTube, that's how the YouTube algorithm works. It really isn't as easy as it sounds. It is hard to get 1k subs on YouTube. It's actually the hardest thing to do. So like once you hit 1000 after that, it's really easy or at least it just gets easier to hit your first fan subscribers. It's one of the hardest things you can do. So yeah, narrowing it down, it leaves us with Instagram here. And you may be thinking, why Twitter now? The reason I think Twitter is so good is because it's almost a step down from TikTok. It's one of those side platforms. So you have usually your main platform would be I guess YouTube Twitch again don't apply with like if you are literally starting from zero or you maybe have some subscribers some followers and some platforms here and there again it's going to be harder to hit those milestones on things like YouTube and Twitch although they are more main stream platforms they will be like your main social medias you want to focus on these side platforms so like your Instagram your TikToks, your Twitters they're really slept on and Twitter I've already mentioned it's very hard to grow on. it's kind of like Twitch you push over your own followers from different platforms and they kind of just go to your Twitter for almost like updates and special inside tweets and such like that about your day but with things like Instagram and TikTok especially TikTok unfortunately you can't apply for TikTok but they have insane algorithms and what I mean by insane is they're really rewarding like it just takes an ounce of luck and you don't even just need luck entirely like if you just use your brain a little bit and just have consistency that's really what it boils down to just being consistent with it and without a doubt you're going to get almost like a blow up post now this is with TikTok at least like it takes that one post that just does insane and you'll just gain followers after followers after followers and I mean that like you literally post maybe one post and that'll just do decently well like 10k views from the for you page and you'll be rewarded with at least a thousand followers just from that one post but of course again you can't apply with TikTok so the step down from that would be Instagram it's kind of complicated but also a pretty rewarding algorithm right all you have to do is already mentioned just stay consistent literally I guarantee you're playing Fortnite most of the day anyway just every time you get a Fortnite clip or you kill someone and it's a good kill literally get that clip get onto your mobile phone somehow because unfortunately you can't post through the internet on like Instagram you can't post your internet on your PC it just doesn't work or your console you, I don't think you can even post through your console so just get that to your phone somehow if you're on PC you can use Dropbox you can use Gmail you can literally even email it to yourself or another email and save it for your phone or alternatively you can put it in Microsoft OneDrive uh, Google Drive and save it to your phone that way or if you're on console I don't know how you go about doing that actually if someone can help with that in the comments how you get videos from your console to your phone um, let me know. I think what you have to do is upload it to YouTube for your console and then have it unlisted and then just get the link and download it on your phone for YouTube. That's just my theory. But yeah, kind of going off the tracks here. Just get clips, get them on your mobile device, upload them to Instagram, at least post one clip a day. I recommend not doing any more than one only because what you're going to be doing is to push that post out. And because this is how the algorithm works, what you're going to want to do is use hashtags. And if you're to use excessive amount of hashtags, so you're posting, I don't know, two to three posts a day using the same hashtags, that can get you quote unquote shadow banned which means you just won't be able to grow at all because they'll stop pushing you out like into those hashtags into potential explore pages they'll just stop promoting you and you won't be able to grow they'll cut you from the algorithm so yeah try and limit yourself to one post a day just use some good hashtags what I'd recommend is if you want copy my hashtags right so go on my Instagram I'll link it down below just go there and copy my hashtags why I actually do myself is to avoid getting shadow banned or I guess blacklisted from these hashtags although I'm actually posting only once a day and recently I've been super inactive which I probably shouldn't be doing I'm quite guilty for that but I have three different sets of hashtags that I use basically every single day I'll change up the hashtags and just rotate through them free so once I've done three days using those three different hashtags per each day of the three days I was posting I'll then rotate again go back to the start freeload the hashtags for the next three days and just keep rotating through them like so and that just splits them up a bit and avoids you potentially getting a shadow ban and this has made me grow a ton like honestly I'm at about 5k followers right now and I'm very inactive but when I'm posting daily although it may take a week or two to actually see growth just from these hashtags alone people are following me and seeing my clips and yeah it's got me to 5k followers and honestly without a doubt if I was posting daily right now and had been like I take some breaks sometimes because I'm just inactive don't take after me but if I was there's no way I wouldn't be on 10k by now but just trust me I don't want to ramble on for any more Instagram focus on Instagram it's the best and it will guarantee you that support a credit code one way or another you just have to be persistent with it and just understand come to that realization it's not gonna happen overnight that's just the hard truth and yeah guys with that being said that's all I have in today's video. Hopefully this could help in one way or another. I just wanted
wanted to explain what a sport credit card was, show you how to, I guess, apply and get one, and also give you guys a few tips on how you can get there a little bit faster. If this did help in any way, shape, or form, the least you can do for me, drop a like, subscribe. Surely, if you got to this point of the video, I'm guessing you enjoyed it. And if not, I'm sorry, but you probably would have clicked off. So, yeah, I guess you enjoyed it. Subscribing would mean the world. Won that road to 100k before my birthday. It would just be insane. I hope everyone has an amazing day. It's been your boy Fetch, and yeah, peace.